Right, so question 12. Five schools sent some students to a conference. One of the schools sent both boys and girls. This school sent 16 boys. The ratio of the number of boys it sent to the number of girls it sent was 1 to 2. The other four schools sent only girls and each of the five schools sent the same number of students. Work out the total number of students sent to the conference by these five schools. Okay, there's so a lot of information there. Um, what I like to do, particularly with ratio questions, is to try and model the problem using some pictures. So, what we want to do is, uh, we've got one school sending both boys and girls, and we know that the ratio, uh, it, it sent 16 boys, and the ratio of the number of boys is sent to the number of girls was 1 to 2. So, the ratio it sent of the number of boys to girls was 1 to 2. So for every um, one part boys, you have two parts girls. So let's see what that would look like in a picture. So I've got one part boys and two parts girls. So that's your boys there. Boys are represented by the first box and the girls are represented by these two boxes here, boys to girls. This school sent 16 boys. Well, with ratio, uh, each part must be equal. So that must be 16, that must be 16, and that must be 16, uh, which means this school sent in total um, 6, 12, 18, uh, 48 pupils, 48 pupils in total. So 48 pupils went from this school. It says the other four schools sent only girls and each of the five schools sent the same number of students. That means each school must have sent 48 pupils. Work out the total number of students sent to the conference by these five schools. So simply all I need to do is five times 48, five schools, they all sent the same number of pupils, equals five eighths are 40, zero carry four, Five fours are 20 and four is 240. So 240 pupils in total. And what looked like a really complicated question with lots of information and um, was fairly straightforward in the end.